Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use a torque wrench and also how to torque the lugs on your vehicle. So on your torque wrench you should have different measurements. Um, it could be in foot pounds or either newton meters. I usually use foot pounds. I'm used to those numbers. And there's your rotation of left and right to tighten or loosen your nuts or bolts, whatever you need to tighten or loosen. So the very important thing is to make sure when you and after use, set this back to zero. If you don't set it back to zero, the spring inside this tool will weaken and then the calibration of the torqueness will be off. It will not be the same. So on a Toyota wheel lug specification, the torqueness should be 76 foot-pounds. So now I'm going to adjust the dial to 76 foot-pounds. So this is 70. Now 76 looks like that. Not all torque wrench looks the same, but it's a similar idea. So a torque wrench not only works on wheel lugs, it works on bolts, nuts, anything you need to tighten to a specific torqueness. So I want to show you a demo. As I tighten the wheel lugs, when it gets close to 76 foot-pounds, when it clicks, that means it has reached 76 foot-pounds. You'll know it once you tighten the lugs. That is 76 foot pounds. You notice that there's a louder click. And if you didn't notice, I have my tire lifted off the ground. I did not want the bolts to have any tension. So this will give me a more accurate reading of the tightness of each wheel lugs. Now for the most important part that most people forget to do at the end, you have to reset your tool back to zero. If you don't reset your tool back to zero over time, your tool will be damaged. The torque wrench will be useless. Then you'll have to buy a new one. There you go. I'm back to zero. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. More videos to come. Stay tuned.